congregation, we are gathered here today within these walls, well wrought through hard, callous might, to welcome in the righteous flame. The one that burns both inside and out. We are one. Under a sky so dense with rain. And it is our duty to be the break that lets the sun in. Yes, the grave is ours. But so is the cradle. Come, let us be the song, and let us start the dance. Should I yet pass, as must we all, who will hearken to my fall? Will time's rough passage slow to a crawl and wither flower one and all? Might with my waning gentle breath come summer breeze, not day bereft? Might as I fade a world awake with many lives yet to create? For every player has his part and every ending has its star. <laughs> So 
and all of him that was but a dream and arms for the farmer, scavenger the warrior, hunts down the hide and makes him much sorrier. Till the sword sanctifies it Dreams you can print them Books can invent them When the sword replies The gates are argumental Brave college battlers Must stick to their sucklers
this was my brief performance. I wanted to get it right. A casual, I carry guitars every day walk. <laughs> A cool, I am in fact part of the band, secretly write all their songs. I would play if I wasn't so blasé walk. Speak to me, I am carrying this guitar. <laughs> Can't you see? I am carrying this guitar. <laughs> I also spoke. <laughs> Let me tell you about the original lineup. Ever since the lower sixth concert, Wayne McKibben, Ringo Mini, Eamon McKibben. Gary Doyle and me. So, um, <laughs> uh, thanks, band. It's good having a band. Poets want bands, you know, that's what they want in life. Um, I thought I'd change the tone slightly. Um, because I'm in a church, I wanted to, um, yeah, kind of like, as well as light a candle for Andrew and for remembrance, I, I've got a piece that I want to remember my brother, Francie. Francie um, had a few struggles in life. He was a boxer and he had mental health, mental health issues. And I'm going to merge a couple of pieces that I've got about him. Pfeiffer, Mahatma Gandhi, V. 
Meet me at Subway, Francie. Meet me at Subway. It was my fault, to be honest. I told him back when I was a student that I figured out if he wanted to sit and read in a cafe, pick a franchise, because the staff don't care about profit and won't notice if you sit there all night reading a novel or writing one. So began Francie's lifelong relationship with Subway. Meet me in Subway. In Belfast or County Down, he'd be there at the seat nearest the door, scanning the street through the glass front. I could check things when I was there, his clothes, his eye contact, how long he would sit before getting up for another Diet Coke refill. How many refills he thought it was appropriate to get. What his banter with his staff were like. Maybe it was the maps on the wall of the New York subway that gave him his bearings. He'd never been but always wanted to go. Madison Square Gardens, of course. To fight Tyson. Or Louis. Or Dempsey. Meet me in Subway, Francie. Meet me in Subway. It was one of the bad ones even for Francie when he ripped out the computer cables at his local bank because they couldn't give him any more money and he smashed the place up, threatened the staff and walked across the street for a diet coke in Subway where three policemen tried to restrain him. An ex Boxer, bouncer, who knew all the Jason Bourne and Bruce Lee movies by heart and was smack bang at the peak of psychosis. So when one of the officers was injured, it was all recounted for the courts that found him guilty of assault based on the CCTV footage from his local subway. So next time he was out, I was even for Francie a little surprised when he said we should meet in Subway. I hesitated and checked with the staff out of earshot. Was it okay? And they laughed. Francie, of course. He's going to crack. So when the outrageous happens, even for Francie, when he drops dead at 48 on Lower Crescent as the bouncers rush over and try their best to bring him round. We can all work out that he's just crossed Botanic Avenue, coming out of the subway. And at his wake in Burndale Estate, the city's near a fairly traumatized state, we get a knock on the door, and his four young women in uniform fleece tops, makeup already smudged well before we show them anywhere near his coffin. They're carrying three high-stacked trays of assorted six-inch baguettes, compliments of the local subway. Meet me in subway, Francie. Meet me in subway. Meet me in subway, Francie. Meet me in subway.
where your tongue finds harmless to the wandering world, where the dark lines gather like a clamorous herd, where silence is music in each stone a sound, where the meaning hereafter is a song to be found, and there across the ripple of the lake, there across the surface of the mirroring lake, Glides the mistress of seeming, your rhymes are to take. So bow down your head, boy, as towards you she sings, and swear her your fealty for the dark heart she brings. Praise her, the black swan. <laughs>
shipwrecked soul A connoisseur of debris Lost names in broken stone
Nina.
And let's just say thanks to Andrew, you know, because yeah. he's what propelled us. Yeah. Yeah.